Dzień dobry from here in Krakow, Poland. Um, you know, one thing about being here in Poland, actually, you guys, you guys might want to check out this view. This is like where it starts. Walking towards the center. St. Mary's Cathedral. And there's always something to block the view. <laughs> no, but I hope you guys are doing okay. And one thing that I really, I really enjoy about Poland early in the mornings, I'm pretty sure this happens everywhere, but there's so many tourists like in Krakow, uh, even when I was in, uh, in Gdańsk, there's so many tourists on the street that if you can go out in the mornings before eight o'clock and maybe walk down the main streets and go to the main squares, which by the way, Krakow has the biggest square in Europe, um, it is like a totally different, it's a totally different city because you actually can see everything and take it in. Because when you come out here in the daytime, as you guys saw yesterday, and you guys will see later today, you can't even walk down here. You can't ride a bike down here. You can't skateboard down here. It's just too many people all concentrated in one place. So you can't even take it in like you probably, like you would be able to if it wasn't so many tourists. So the key to that is either come early, early in the morning or come early in the, in the morning. Oh, and two other quick things. You kind of also leave it early. You get to see everyone kind of setting up. You see the behind the scenes, what goes into keeping these shops and these little places on the corner running. And the second thing is that I'm shooting today's entire vlog in 60 frames per second. That won't mean a lot to a lot of you guys, but it's, it's, I'm shooting in 60 frames per second. You, if you notice the difference, if it looks better today's video, or it looks weird. Um, let me know what you think in the comments down below, but you should be able to see details of things a lot better than, uh, than how we were shot before. Just trying something new. You know, and honestly, honestly for me, this is when you see the real beauty of the cities. It's in the mornings. I found out the key is in the mornings, whether you're just finishing a long night going home. Wow. Whether you're just finishing a long night going home or you're starting out early in the morning, this is when you see like the real, you see the real beauty of the city because during the day you don't see any of this. You can't even see the ground. There's so many tourists everywhere. And yeah, I'm just kind of reminded of that, especially here in Krakow, which for me is like, I think they call it the gem of Poland or gem of Central Europe or can't remember. And make sure you guys say Central Europe. Don't say Eastern Europe. Um, I've made that mistake never on camera, but I've made the mistake talking to people and they're like, it's not Eastern the gem of central Europe, but it's just everyone's starting to come here, so it's so packed. But when there's no one and you can see really the details of everything, first of all, you understand why to come in the mornings, and second of all, you understand why everybody comes here to right now. <laughs> you know, but as I've told you guys, I spend a lot of time in the center of cities and I'm trying to kind of slowly, slowly work away from that. So today I'm gonna leave the square, which is where I usually would get some work done, responding to emails, all that stuff, all that, all that behind the scenes stuff. And I think I'm gonna head actually kind of out of the square area, the main, this big square here, and head towards the, the Jewish quarters here in Krakow, past the castle, find a nice quiet place to work there just to, just to change things up a little bit. You know, as I'm still kind of making my way, just to give you guys reference, the square is behind me. Uh, one thing that I've noticed when it comes to, to meeting people, um, that I almost meet twice as many people in the mornings as I do in the in, in the day almost, and even in the night walking around. Um, and the quality is usually a little bit higher. There's a little hack I can give you guys, because you guys are always asking like, Luke, how do I meet people? What do you do if I'm solo travel? How can I, how can I meet more people, you know? And the first thing is mornings. First thing I would say to you guys is, number one, try the mornings. Second time is be ready to kind of meet people, you know what I mean? Dzień dobry. Dzień dobry. Wszystko dobrze. You know, I think the, the thing you gotta remember is you gotta be ready to meet people. You know, I see, I see a lot of people, uh, just as I'm walking, you know, because a lot of people are leaving, going to the airports, they're walking around with headphones on. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with walking around with headphones on. But I'm saying when you're really trying to meet people and you're serious about it, like wearing headphones is a very, it's a closed, even me, someone, if I wanna meet somebody when they have headphones on, it's automatically like, a, whoa, okay. So someone like me who just goes up and talks to anybody, or anyone at any time, 
I am even to tear when someone has headphones on because I'm like, that's a sign they kind of want to be left alone. When I rarely have headphones on, but when I do, it's because I want to kind of be left alone. And that's a little bit of a how to make people hack for you guys. Uh, yeah, from here and crack out before I have my coffee. But uh, we'll spin to, well, I don't gotta find a place to go to. Uh, I was actually gonna go to that cafe, but I remember I wanted to see this place while it's not packed. And when you come to Jewish quarters, you guys gotta come to this place right here. So inside this place here, this is really interesting. They have a lot of zapikanki. If you don't, I think I'm saying it right, zapikanki. It's the bread, it's like, it's a huge long thing of bread. Imagine like a French baguette cut in half, and you have cheese, you have tomatoes, you have anything you want on top of it. And these are all the places here. And it's really not even one restaurant. It's like five, it's, no, it's more than that. It's like 15 or 20 of them. And you'll see lines lined up all around, all during the night, around lunchtime as well. But if you ever come here, you don't know where to meet people, you don't know what to do. Come to this place, you'll meet plenty of people. There's always be people in the lines, be people sitting down here. Uh, and anyone who's ever been here, you already know. But I had to show you guys this before I go uh, get some work done. I don't, I don't want to lose that momentum from the morning, you know. I've been just talking to people and I got that momentum. I feel like I need to show you guys something. Is there fruit over here? Yes, yes, yes. But I want to say the one that I always go to is, I can't even remember. I think it's one of these right here. This is the ones everyone always goes to. I think this one. It was like a year ago since I was here. So that's what I remember. Yeah. But yeah, a little morning tour. Might just end the vlog here this morning. Jin Dobre. Ah, finally little fruit market. Get some bananas. This is why this is one of my favorite cafes. It's so quiet. Like you almost wouldn't know that you're in. You wouldn't even know that you're here. In Krakow. Just don't want any bugs around me. Uh, ah, so, ah, okay, put the phone. Ah, three, uh, tak. Tak wysoki. Tak. Podrzuć, jak je wysoki. Ja, Łukasz. Good? It's good? Oh. <laughs> Bože, jaká jsou malinká. Tak? Dobře. Dobře, děkujem. Ah, ah, it's okay. Prosím vás. Takže tak. Yeah. A tu kolko? Tu. Jeden, dva, tři. A... Šest. Tak. Here. Tak. Ano. In Krakow. Tu. Yes. Dobre. Yeah. Mi? Yeah. Mi tu? Tak. Sedím. Ah, okay, okay. Ah, this is good, eh? Ah, it's good. <laughs> Love meeting people. <laughs> Entire conversation, they were from Slovakia. They were speaking Slovakian, and I don't speak it. I speak a little bit of Russian, a little bit of Polish. We had a nice 10 minute conversation. <laughs> oh man. Had to get some zapi kanki, but as you saw, vegetarian one. Uh, taking a little break from meat for a while. It's so good. I know you guys like to know the prices of things. So that zapi kanki, the vegetarian one, that was 10 zloty. 10 zloty is like two euros 50, almost three US dollars for uh, just a uh, the zapikanki and I had that and I'm I'm full so one zapikanki here is 10 but they have other ones for like seven six and they're more expensive in different places so you kind of got to when you come here like walk around in a circle and you'll see Can see 
here in the Jewish Quarter. It's more calm. Even though it's packed full of tourists, I don't know what it is. It's just a different kind of vibe than up there by the big square. By the big square, there's a lot of people and it's really loud, a lot of music, everything. But kind of here in the Jewish Quarter, almost no matter where you're walking, it's always just like super calm, super relaxed. And if you're looking for quiet, I recommend you definitely, hold on, get my shoe. You definitely look into staying uh, in the Jewish Quarters. So, so, so many vegan options. For all you people who are trying not to eat meat, who don't eat meat, I'm now just shifting to where I'm not gonna have any for a while. There are so many places here in Old Town, in the newer town, in the center, kind of everywhere, kind of just Poland in general. There's like so many of them that it just makes it. <laughs> oh, you guys have to come check out this place. If you come to Krakow, check out this place. It's like all healthy food, vegan. They have tea, coffee. And look how nice this place is. Look at this. Look at this. Seriously? I don't think I'm leaving. Big change in today. Big, big change in today. It's gonna stay here for a while. Yeah, I don't think I'm going anywhere anytime soon. It's time to... All Jewish communities with young generation with children. And this exhibition actually shows this transition from the 70s and 80s when they felt like there was no hope that yeah. this was the end of Jewish life. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I'll see you Tuesday, 9.30. Yes. Tuesday, 9.30. Exactly. Right, yeah. Wow, okay, so met, um, and if you're watching this, met someone um, who in that shop who actually works at this synagogue right here, or at this um, Jewish uh, memorial. It's a museum, it's not one of the popular ones that everybody talks about, but definitely have a meeting there in a couple days to kind of go through all the kind of stuff that's a little bit too much for the heart right now to handle. But um, yeah, I'm, yeah, she, they, they kind of took me on a little mini tour right now for about a good 15, 20 minutes. And anytime I do stuff like that, it just kind of changes the mood just a little bit to where uh, it's a lot, it's a lot on the heart, but um, yeah, I'll be coming back here to this place uh, soon. But just had to tell you guys that just uh, in case you see a mood change in the vlog, it's just my, yeah, seeing stuff like that's always a little bit difficult. You guys remember how this morning there was nobody here in the square? Uh, okay, so I want to say it is four hours later. Came back here to the hostel to get some rest. By the way, this is the hostel. Uh, it's really cool and chill, and I have it to myself right now. And I really came back here to rest and chill, um, but ended up talking to people. Was in here for about two hours, two and a half hours, just talking and chilling. And this is a place where you can see there's plenty of places to chill and be open and speak to people in the room, desk and everything. But kind of one of those days where it kind of finishes off here, and I've realized that finding the quiet time in the hostel when no one's here uh, to kind of come back and have a little moment to myself right now. Um, but it's been cool here in Krakow. I'm excited. I've and chilling. It's kind of one of those days where I get lost in the vlog, but enjoy the day. Still the same, but hope that you were able to learn something. You're getting around to today's video here in Krakow. I'm not rushing it through here in Krakow. I'm kind of taking my time, trying to see as much as I can here and take my time seeing it. Um, but it's just a pleasure to have you guys here and bring you guys along here with me. And uh, kind of on that note, I think someone's coming in the room. No. 
But kind of on that note, I just really appreciate and so happy to have you guys here and bring you guys along and show you guys and share the experience with you guys. It makes it really amazing. I guess I just maybe had about an hour and a half conversation talking about this with a bunch of people in the room. Uh, believe it or not, I, I try to hide who I am so much, but sometimes it just kind of comes out. But we just had a great talk about it. And I just want to say I really appreciate you guys. Appreciate you guys being here. I appreciate you guys who leave me suggestions, telling me places to go. Um, and just having your attention means the world to me. Thank you guys so much. And I'll talk to you guys all tomorrow. And everyone always remember to work hard, be brave, and don't forget to smile. Ciao.